Plus. It's a deadly threat to Arizona, the opioid epidemic. New lawsuits say drug companies promoted opioids so aggressively, their sales pitch led to the opioid crisis. Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris, Valerie has the night off. That is the claim. In a lawsuit, Pima County and the city of Tucson filed against a long list of drug companies. New at six, Kega 9 on your side's Craig Smith reports, the city and county say prescription drugs were pushed to control pain with little thought about the chance of addiction. We weren't bad people. I mean, I had a job, I graduated high school, I have a good family, you know? I wasn't raised in a household that used drugs. Um, but because of some of the people I hung out with and their prescriptions, I got into it. Brandon Bond says prescription opioids seemed more acceptable somehow, and they were flowing so freely they spilled out for sale on the street, where they fueled addictions it took him 16 years to beat. The lawsuits by the city of Tucson and Pima County say drug makers used heavy advertising and gave incentives to doctors to sell other doctors on the idea that opioids could manage pain with little risk of addiction. Now, Brandon Bond and Dan Barden help break addictions at Kodak. Barden says they see 150 to 200 people a month who say they have the sort of addiction problem drug makers did not say much about. They, pharmacy reps, talk about the benefits, didn't deny or, or didn't say that it was a non-addictive medication, but never acknowledged the potential for addiction when they did the education. That's, that's the message I get from the prescribers as I talk to the prescribers. That's what they heard. Assistant County Administrator Dr. Francisco Garcia says Pima County is suing to force drug makers to change how they market opioids and to recover addiction costs that affect all of us. There are real costs associated with the treatment of these folks. There are real costs that are borne by the public purse, by you and I, through the taxes that we pay that support programs like Medicaid and Medicare, uh, which end up being the major payers for folks who are addicted uh, and are substance involved. Dr. Garcia expects the Pima County and City of Tucson suit to merge with other lawsuits other governments have already filed. He hopes suing will also compel the drug companies to pay for addiction prevention programs to stop addictions before they can even begin to destroy lives. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side. You can look at real-time op opioid statistics in Arizona. There's a link to that on our website, kgun9.com.